Hello my friends and uh, welcome to the counter application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an app that counts the click of the user on a button. So we will start by step number one, designing the layout. So we'll create the layout of this app using the layout editor in Android Studio and XML. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. Step number two is declaring the views. So declaring the widgets and the views created in the XML. The third step is adding the functionalities, creating functions, handing click events, getting user input, and so on. And the fourth step is running and testing the application, correcting the errors in the layout or and, uh, and the mistakes in the codes if presented. Okay, so these are the fourth, the fourth, the, uh, the four steps that will follow in all of our applications. So. Let's jump into Android Studio and start building this counter application. Let's create a new project or delete the previous uh, widgets and the views from the previous uh, greetings app. You can use the same uh, uh, project. I will copy this wallpaper called wallpaper2. I will paste it in the drawable folder, paste, and now I can use it as a background here, drawable wallpaper too. Okay. Now I need a text view for uh, wrapping the content, wrapping the content for displaying the counter and the result of how many clicks that the user clicks on this button. I will give it an ID result text and I will give it text size like uh, uh, 48 SP always use SP as a unit for this for the text text I will add zero okay you can see that this is the text view I will add infer constraints I will click on infer constraints and these are the constraints attributes. Now I need a button here. So the user will click on it. Wrap content, wrap content, ID, it's btn. Text as click me. And I will drag and drop it here and click on infer constraints, okay? I will increase the size of this as 72. It's good. Now let's go to the main activity. Start by step number two, declaring the widgets, van, button, btn, it's of type button, equal find view by id, r.id.btn val the text view or i will name it as result txt it's of type text view equal find view by id r dot id dot result text and this is uh, the step number two Let's move to step number three, which is adding the functionality. So btn.set on click listener, I will add here the block of code that would be executed when the user click on this button. So I will create a variable here, var counter equal to zero, okay? Or I can move this this variable, I will make it as global. So var counter, it's of type int, you can make it like this, or 
you uh, can uh, write like this, okay? Because Kotlin is smart enough to detect what is the type of this edit text or what it is the type of this variable, sorry. Now I will create a function here outside the onCreate method. So if I click on this curly braces, I will give me this. This is the end, the, the closing uh, curly braces. I will create here a function called increase counter. Okay, it will increase the counter by one and it's returning type as int okay so it's returning type as int and we return counter or i can like write like this increase the counter by one and then return the counter okay i'm increasing the counter by one and when the user click on it, it will increase the, the counter by one. And this is returning an int. So I need to set the text, text view, which is the result text, result text dot set text. I'm using this text view dot set text. I'm setting the text to I need to uh, add the empty uh, the empty codes, double codes, because I'm calling a function that it will directly return an end. And I will call the function increase count. So you can see guys that I have called the method increase counter inside the set text method. Okay, let's run and see how this program will behave. Okay. Click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and so on. So you can see guys how we have in succeeded in creating this, uh, this, um, this functional app that will depends on a function called increase counter and set the result text, which is the edit text of we're calling this function. I, I intentionally, uh, intentionally created this function in order to allow you to think about separating the codes and make functions. Not all the codes should be right, it will be written inside the onCreate method. Okay, guys, please separate, start thinking about separating the codes in the functions, okay? So it's very simple to write these like this. Counter, increase it by one and set text to the counter. Okay, this is a simple way, but no need for the function. If I click on run, it's the same result. Okay, but I intentionally write this in a function in order to practice you in create for creating functions and call the